On the fifth day of the battle for Quay, the Marines moved out from the fortified army compound against the original attack and advanced into the empty, abandoned buildings of what was Quay University. Quay, the ancient imperial city. It is to Vietnamese what old Boston is to America, where many of its country's leaders are born or educated, where many returned to celebrate Tet a week ago when the fighting began, where many remain hidden in the unknown interior of the resistance. Colonel Cheatham, what's the objective and your, what are your men about to do? Well, I've got two companies here that are just about to clear the next two blocks up. There, uh, I've got one company in this in this big building here that I just to the end of Way University, and they are going to start firing in support of Foxtrot Company, which will be going up this road here on the left and attempt to take a couple large wall buildings that are on up about five or six hundred meters. What kind of fighting is it going to be? It's house to house and from room to room. Kind of inch by inch. That's, that's exactly what it is. Had you ever expected to experience this kind of street fighting in Vietnam? No, I didn't, and this is my first crack at the street fighting. I think this is the first time the Marine Corps has been street fighting since Seoul in 1950. And a little bit in Santa Domingo. And a little bit there, yes, right. What's going to happen to civilians who might get caught in there? Well, we're hoping that we don't run into any, any civilians in there right now. If they are... I'm pretty sure there are civilians that are uh, what we would consider the bad guys right now. We have certain areas in here that we have blocked off, but we know there are some civilians and we are going to take those under fire. The other, the other is there, if there's somebody in there right now, their job is right with them. The first sniper shot ricochet around the thick walls of the building, taking the first casualties of the first squad. The sniper, maybe only two or three, buildings beyond the wall. But there is also a machine gun down the street to the left. They have covered every angle of a few feet of dirt and cactus behind this wall, and the one to 40 feet ahead. The pursuit leader has called his men forward. There is to be an assault. First, a barrage of cover fire, and then a charge across the street. The assault. But only one Marine runs forward to the fire, expecting the others to follow, not looking back to find out. Disappears behind the cover of the wall. By night and the next day, the Marines have not been fighting. It is aged by Saturday and a five-day battle in the world. Much of the news filmed during the test was flown to Tokyo and then to New York and Saturday. In some cases, only those early satellite teams were made. Pictures left perfectly, but perfect, 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 perfect,